Tiana. What time is it, man? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Beatdown. This is where two worlds collide. I am your host, Class. This is my co-host. Mr. J, we are back at it with another one for you here today. And if you like these videos, we would like to remind you, if you can go in the section below, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yeah, and I will add one more thing to that, which is put on your notification, okay? Uh, I usually like to try to tell you guys in advance when we're going to have an episode put out, but sometimes we have these little delay uh, things, so if you put yeah. on your notification, it'll let you know, bam, a brand new episode came out. You ain't got to worry about going to Instagram and finding out through me. Anyways, that being said... We are continuing our second tournament fifth round at this point. Do you want to go first or should I? Uh, actually, yeah, I will go first. I mean, you guys already know the combatants that we're using today. We are using um, Storm from the X-Men. Testing me. That, that will be my side. And then he will be representing uh, Zatanna from DC, correct? Good. Emit Odiart, 2 Edwin, cool! That is correct. All right. I don't have much of a chance in this one, you know? Um, I asked a couple people who, who follow the show already. He's like, you know what? What do you think of this? Is like, no. I didn't even get the full question out. I just... You know, Storm, or, you know, I just named one of them, and I said Versus, and they're just like, no, no. There's no way Zatanna loses this fight. No way. Um, Storm is powerful, she's strong, but no way. So I'm going to try to make the case anyway, um, because that's what I have to do. Aurora Monroe, otherwise known as Storm, that is who I will be representing today. Omega level mutant, she is com are capable of um, complete weather manipulation. Now, what that means is she can summon a bolt of lightning. She can summon hurricanes at will. She can, you know, create tornadoes out of just nowhere, thin air. She's so powerful, actually, she can create storms that inherit the entire Earth. So it's not just the area that she's at. She can create a storm powerful enough to where it's everywhere. Um, fun fact, she's actually capable of creating electricity in your brain, giving you like a slight seizure. I didn't know that. Now, wow, I did not know that either. <laughs> seeing how Zatanna's, you know, main weapon, I guess, would be her voice. And if she can't speak, she can't cast her spells. So... What I'm really hoping for is that Storm can somehow, you know, create enough to keep her distracted, to keep her just off focus, you know, just to, huh? You know, and then at some point, Storm can create ele an electricity or, a, you know, she can mess with the magnetic field inside of her brain, and that, you know, gives the Tana a seizure and then puts her down for the count. Like I said, if Satana cannot speak, she cannot create the spells. So if she can do that and give her a seizure and give her a, a, even if it doesn't kill her or put her down, it is momentarily a moment where she's weakened and she cannot cast her spells. And Storm's actually a pretty capable fighter hand to hand. She trained with Logan as, uh, with, eh, as well as with Cyclops and a couple other people. But seeing how she's trained with Logan, she's probably been trained to go for the kill. So I want to say at that point, you know, she just punched Zatanna in the throat, you know, put her in a sleeper hold or something and just immobilize her. So there's not much Storm can do or would be able to do against Zatanna in this fight. But if she could do something, I want to say that's what, that would be what it would be. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that the electricity that she could spark within someone's brain, it's going to come in handy if she can pull it off, where she can kind of yeah. get to Satana, get her really close, 
kind of psych her out, make her think that she's got the pretty much the win in this, and then out of nowhere, just do it at that moment, take that open shot and go for that spark in the brain, you know? Because I think that would be the moment where you, she could really get her. She's got to get her off guard. Though. She she would she would have to use everything that she has. Like I said, um, well, I haven't mentioned this yet, but she creates fog on heavy occasions in order to keep herself concealed, and she yeah. uses this for stealth. She's also capable of creating blizzards cold enough to melt lava. Damn, that's pretty cold. Dude. So, you know, if she can do something like that and just you know not maybe not freeze Zatanna but enough to like slow her down because I mean freezing might work actually because I mean she needs to be able to talk if she can't move whatsoever there is the advantage right there she's got to be able to you know cast a spell say the words and some crap right also when you know you're experiencing high levels of cold it's a little difficult to talk you know hypothermia makes it very difficult to speak yeah, you know, because like you're sitting there, sh- <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a definite tough battle for Storm, but if she plays it right and she uses her abilities well enough, especially with her combat training and experience, as well as her intelligence, Storm's actually very intelligent, you know, and she's capable of not only being intelligent but being tactical or a tactician yeah so she's she old, uses isn't she or something like that what is she omega level or something like that oh yeah she's definitely an omega level mutant That's not a, it would, yeah no it would be very difficult for her to take down satana i'm not gonna disagree with that but if she plays her cards right maybe she could get lucky you never know But I have made my case. All right. So, it's my turn now. <laughs> yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie. The next competition I'm going to have to do the next round, that's going to be an uphill battle for myself. I mean, I got I got the underdog in that fight. and uh, Oh, you know, uh, the hot girl versus uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. Yeah, that's, that's going to be, uh, that's my underdog fight, you know, so. I don't have COVID. I have allergies, guys. So just bear with me sometimes. Sorry. But anyway, that's why my nose. I mean, we're screwed off. we're not in the same room anyway. <laughs> I know, right? But they, everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, oh, watch out for that guy." <laughs> don't get it. Don't shake his hand. He's like, "I'm good. I'm good." Anyway, um, so yeah, I got my I got my work cut off next next round. But this round, not so much. Uh, but. No, to be fair, Storm is not no. She's no small potato. She's no little little girl that you can just push and drop and she'll cry. No, she's a tough cookie to beat. She ain't a, ain't no small. Like I said, small potatoes. Anyways, side the point. Um, so Satana. But let's let's get real. She's born with something called Homo Magic. That's the name of her 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 gift. She's apparently born with magic in her blood. So she can cast spells. She's learned a lot of things over the years. Uh, She's actually known to be a sorcerer of supreme. Okay, that's a top dog in the in the magic realm. So it's not going to be. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of cases. Let's talk about. Let me start with dimension. Let me talk. Let's talk about Zatanna throwing storm in different different dimensions and different parts and taking her to different places. That's going to get storm off guard. I mean, yeah. Who you are. If you're going to another place and you're experiencing new aliens or you're experiencing a different type of black hole that's white instead of black, it's a white hole, and you're not going to be like in the normal sense, like, okay, I can, I'm, I'm ready to handle whoever's coming my way. No. If random things are being thrown at you, it can distract you a lot to a point where it can confuse you what you can do in a situation like that. You're trying to conjure your powers, but at the same time, you're being thrown into different places you've never been, so you don't know. You have to adjust and everything in between. For Satana, she's kind of comfortable with that. She's lived through magic. She's done this a bunch of times. So her way of transfer, uh, transferring to different dimensions, she's not going to have any issues with that. So first thing first, get her distorted, get her confused, get her out of her element. That's the best thing you can do. I've just found out something called automakinesis. This allows her to control the weather. Ah. So... 
situations arise, this is going to be a bad fight for Storm. Because reality by Storm's biggest bread and butter, her number one power, is controlling the weather. But if another magic being could control the weather and also could do other things, well, we're the, we're the problem here. We're, th- we're going down with the ship in this situation, all right? No matter which way Storm throws a hurricane or a tornado or an earthquake or anything in between, Satana will be able to counter it. She'll be able to probably use any other maneuver along while she's countering these things. She can block any move that Storm pretty much going to throw her away in this essence. Satana could do it. Look, her magic is infinite. So she can make multiple uh, multiple of herself she can duplicate sorry that's the best way to say it she can duplicate herself she could uh, conjure a, a, a creature from another dimension she could rack uh you know storm in some magic chains that were made to hold down gods i mean there's a lot of things that satana can do because she has the infinite amount of magic to do it as long as she can say the spell she's good but even so when situations do arise when she can't even say the spell and she's doomed in a situation all she's got to do is write her spell and blood. On top of that, she has the ability to have a healing factor. So, put a fight going toe to toe, mano mano, and to be able to create force. Storm's gonna have her work cut out in this. No matter how many lightning she throws, again, she controls the weather. No matter how, even if she throws it just out of her hands, force field's gonna be able to protect her. Even if she gets a blow on Tana, Tana's gonna be able to heal herself while controlling the force field while controlling the weather and putting her in different dimensions. All of these things can, together are just too much of a formidable foe to take down. I mean, for reality-wise, Satana can control reality. So because she can control reality, she can pretty much control anything in existence in reality, which also would have to be a mutant named Storm. So sadly to say, Satana's got this one. Well, yeah, no, I don't have anything else to to add after that. Yeah, I'm trying um, to see if I have anything else to add to that. No, I think, like, if I add the other stuff like teleportation and visibility, I mean, those are extra bonuses, but those are like sneak attack moves, you know? That's, that's pretty much what I would add on to that. If she wanted to, she could do a sneak attack move where she can teleport out of nowhere, like throw a couple punches or throw like one of those bl- uh, energy blasts at her. Or she can just go invisible, freak out Storm, be like, yo, where are you at? And everything. And then out of nowhere, she just, bam, shoots her with a, like a lightning bolt or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you always know, guys, it's not really up to me. It's not up to my boy here, Mr. J. It's up to you guys. So, if you guys liked my argument, you know what you can do? You can hashtag Satana. And if you like my boy's argument, you know what you can do? What can you do both? Hashtag Storm. Yeah, yeah. And as always, guys, we really appreciate you, No Press Fam. Catch you guys later. Peace.